So I'm actually really excited for today's review because I'm going to be reviewing the NewFi Air 60 HE. And if you remember on my channel a while ago, I reviewed their Field 75 HE, which was a really fantastic Hall Effect keyboard. But the difference with this one, the Air 60 HE, is that this is the world's first low profile Hall Effect keyboard. So this is really exciting because I can actually see myself using this as my main keyboard. So Let's go over all of the specs and pricing before we get this open and on the desk. Also, if you are thinking of picking up any of NewFi's keyboards, you can use my code Jakey at checkout and you will get a discount. Of course, that also helps support the channel, but this video is not sponsored. They did send this keyboard out for review, but as always, that does not affect my opinion of it. So let's get into the pricing really quickly. The NewFi Air 60 HE is actually priced really, really well. So it's $120 on their website. Uh, for the Magnetic Jade, and if you switch to the Magnetic Jade Pro, that will cost you an additional $20, coming in at $140. So this is a low-profile keyboard, like I said, and it is an aluminum chassis, and the fact that you're getting that for as low as $120 USD is actually a very solid price. If you want, you can also add like these shine-through keycaps, like this style right here, if you like these, for uh, obviously an additional cost, but if you don't choose that, then you just get like the default keycaps. And you can also do like add-ons like their desk mats and stuff like that too. So some key features of this keyboard is that it's 8000 hertz polling rate. So on paper, that is going to be faster than your traditional 1000 hertz keyboards. But as always, you'll never hear me say that 8000 hertz is important on a keyboard because it's really not. Uh, polling rate on keyboards is not really that noticeable, but it's nice to see that you are getting the fastest response time with this keyboard. And so traditionally with other Hall Effect keyboards like the Wooting, you are going from 0.1 to 4.0 millimeters. But since this is a low profile keyboard, your actuation range is going to be 0.1 to 3.3. Because since it is a low profile keyboard, that switch is going to be shorter. You also get SOCD support. So if that's important to you, then this keyboard does support that. And of course, the usual Hall Effect stuff like customizable actuation points and rapid trigger. You also get hot swappable switches and south facing LEDs. So you can see here that you can choose between two different keycap styles that come in the box. And I will be going over that later, but you can see here you can choose either this very clean minimal look or you can choose sort of like this more gamer-esque style with these translucent keycaps so yeah here's some graphs for the actuation points as well as this latency graph right here so apparently they've done their own testing and the average latency is extremely fast here of course i have no way of testing this on my own so just looking at the graph here that they provide and if you're new to hall effect keyboards this is how it works right here this is how the rapid trigger works basically whenever you let go of a key as soon as you let go of that key even just like a little bit it will deactivate that keystroke. You also have HyperTap, which is new, and of course, dynamic keystroke. And here is just a visual of the low profile magnetic jade compared to the regular magnetic jade. And yeah, very cool. Here's the specs of the switch as well, and a little overview of the web based software. So the software is web based, which is great, and I will be going over that later in the video. You also have a physical switch on the keyboard that you can use to switch between different profiles for games or different operating systems. And here is all those sound dampeners and layers on the keyboard right here. So we will be doing a sound test as well later on. And yeah, if you're interested, here are the overall specs of the keyboard. All right, so with that out of the way, let's unbox the Air 60 HE. So opening up the box, we of course get a quick start guide here and then the keyboard itself under that. Here's the actual keyboard. It's super lightweight. It is an aluminum chassis, but it is very lightweight because it is low profile. So you can see really how thin this keyboard is right here. And I love low profile keyboards, but of course I've been using my Wooting 60 HE because it's just the fastest with the Hall effect. But this, you get best of both worlds if you like those low profile keyboards you also get hall effect here so you truly are just getting like the fastest experience and you can see here that the default keycaps that are installed are these translucent ones right here here's what the bottom of the keyboard looks like kind of a fingerprint magnet but you also get like just a metal base plate here that i'm gonna rip off really quick there you go nice little peel and you also get some kick up feet so you have two adjustable levels here you can either do the first level or you can have it fully tilted and then on the top here, of course, you have that switch to switch between different profiles for either different games or different operating systems. One thing I do want to point out is that the USB-C port is actually on the left side of the keyboard rather than the top. Um, and this is so that you can connect it to like your laptop. So if you have it on top of a laptop, you can just have a really short cable going from the left side of the keyboard straight into your laptop. As for the rest of the accessories in the box, you get a switch and keycap puller, two in one. And if you're curious, this is what the switch looks like right here. I did ask for the Magnetic Jade Pro switch, so I'm not sure if this is the Magnetic Jade or the Magnetic Jade Pro. I'm actually going to try and take it out here to see if I can tell. Oh, this is the Pro. So I just pulled it up right here. You can see that the Pro 
is teal colored and then the regular magnetic jade is white colored so you can see the different forces that it takes to actuate as well so yeah i do have the pros in this keyboard again the pros will run you around 20 dollars more compared to the regular magnetic jades and if you're curious this is what the keycap looks like low profile keycap of course and in the box you also get your USB-C cable. This is what that USB-C cable looks like right here. It is an angled USB-C cable and it is completely rubber as well. I would have liked to see this be a braided cable. And of course you get those additional keycaps that you can swap out here. So yeah, you just get the standard keycaps if you want the keyboard to not have like this translucent look with the purple ones. You get some standard keycaps that you can swap in if you don't like that look. So very nice that they provide this for you and you also get a command key as well if you're using this on mac os then you can just swap out the alt key with the command key yeah that feels really good i really like the feeling of low profile keyboards it just reminds me of typing on a laptop which i really really like so let's get this plugged in i'm going to do a quick sound test and then we can go over the software and performance in game as well here's what the keyboard looks like all plugged in with the rgb turned on but yeah this is what the default rgb looks like right there super bright so i'm going to be doing the sound test with the first level of the kick up feet up because that's how I would be using this keyboard. Completely flat kind of feels weird. So I'm just gonna be using the first set of feet propped up on the keyboard. All right guys, that was the sound test. Actually very nice sounding. I like how soft it sounds. Now let's go over the software of the Air 60 HE. So like I mentioned earlier, the software is completely web-based and I love it when companies do web-based software. It's just super convenient. So you just go over here to newfi.io. I'm gonna access uh, authorization, grant it to the keyboard here. It's gonna load up, do some maybe firmware updates. Let me see. Yeah, so it looks like there is a firmware update. So you just click update now. Let's see how easy this is. Click confirm, click connect, very similar to updating like a wooting. Okay, it looks like it's fully updated. That was very easy. So let's go over the keyboard settings. Uh, so key bindings, the first tab here, we can just remap the entire keyboard as you would expect. You can also do different layers as well. Second tab here is the rapid trigger settings. So um, you can see here we can do a visualization of the key presses and it looks like it's very accurate as I feather this key seems to be pretty accurate. You can also see like the keys I'm hitting as well. So I'm going to change the actuation point to one millimeter. You can see it updates on the side here as well, which is very cool. You can also choose different switches, like specifically if you want to change the actuation point, or you can just select all here, just like you can on the wooting. I'm going to turn on rapid trigger, and then I'm just going to set this to the most sensitive at 0.01. .01. And it doesn't look like I there's a save button anywhere, so I'm just assuming that it automatically saves onto the keyboard. Okay, and so you can also do switch calibration. So if you're switching out your switches here, I'm on the Jade Pro. So obviously I'm going to select that and I'm just going to recalibrate this really quick. And yeah, pretty solid software pretty much does everything that you need it to do. Let's go over to the lighting effects now. So lighting effects, you can either turn the RGB on or off. And if you've been following the channel for a while now, you already know that I don't like RGB on my keyboards. So I'm going to completely disable RGB. You can also change the side light here so you can see on the sides of the keyboard there's like these led strips you can turn these off as well and by default it seems to be on 8000 hertz pulling rate which is nice so i'm just going to leave all these settings alone for now you can also edit the profiles here so we're currently on mode one which is gaming and then you can have different modes for windows or mac uh, or you can change these to different games as well like different game profiles with different rapid trigger settings and actuation point settings so that's super nice and that's pretty much it for the software Pretty much does everything that you want it to do, really no complaints here. Okay, so now we're going to launch Valorant and try it out in-game. I'm already expecting it to perform solid though, just from that 
visualization bar in the software, it seemed to be very, very responsive. Really not expecting to have any issues here in terms of performance. I'm just going to hop in the range really quick. All right, so now we're in the range and really pretty much what I expected. Performance wise, it performs exactly the same as my Wooting 60 HE and every other like good Hall Effect keyboard that I've tried in the past. Super snappy, super, super responsive, and as soon as I let go of my movement key, my character comes to a complete stop. Spamming AD is just super snappy as well as you would expect from a Hall Effect keyboard. So really, really no complaints here at all. All right, guys, so that was my review of the NuFi Air 60 HE. I absolutely love this keyboard, and in fact, this is going to be my main keyboard going forward just because I love low-profile keyboards, and I love the typing experience of low-profile keyboards, and this one is just really, really solid. It has that aluminum chassis and Hall effect as well, which is very good for games like Valorant, which I play a lot. So this, really, this keyboard is really just extremely solid if you're somebody who really likes low-profile keyboards but was also looking for, like, the highest performance out of a hall effect then this is definitely the keyboard for you in my opinion it's also priced really really well 120 dollars usd is a very fair price for this keyboard given the build quality and the performance as well really just a banger coming out of newfi so yeah i really have nothing but good things to say about this keyboard overall it's just fantastic the only thing i would have maybe liked to see is for it to be in a 65 percent layout um, because i do like having those arrow keys but that's really not a big deal that's sort of just a personal preference sort of thing. But yeah, really solid keyboard. Definitely going to be on my desk for the foreseeable future. Really, really solid. But yeah, if you guys are interested in checking out this keyboard or really anything from NuFi, I highly recommend their company. And I will leave a link in the description below and a code that you guys can use at checkout to get a discount. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.